Ben Tulfo Unfiltered. Nagbago na bang terminolohiya from the past it's called information reference na nanggagaling sa komunidad uh, may participation yung taong bayan. Uh, how do you call it now? Sa panahon yeah, Well, ang tawag namin dyan is sa uh, summary of information. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun yung uh, bagong tawag namin dyan. Yung mga information na nakukuha natin, no, mm-hmm. those, uh, yung mga from uh, our informants, mm-hmm. hindi naman natin yan ginagawa na as is uh, mm-hmm. ina-accept natin mm-hmm. yan. We have to validate and mm-hmm. confirm itong mm-hmm. mga information na to mm-hmm. at uh, it uh, undergoes process. Okay. So, it now, pag nag-undergo siya ng process, we can uh, now... Uh, consider it as an intelligence information, mm. usable information mm. na pwede nating ibigay sa ating mga operatives at mm. i-operate i- uh, yung tao na yon o yung uh, mm. company na yon kung mm. talagang o yung lugar na yon na sinasabi na merong uh, illegal dun sa question na yun. Okay, uh, e- itong mga information niyo, summary of information which I call information reference in the past na nanggagaling sa komunidad. Yes. Nanggagaling sa mga taong bayan na nagbibigay ng informasyon. Nanggagaling sa barangay. Yes or ng guys mga informant. Yes. How do you validate muna? Paano yung processing ninyo rito? Step by step para maintindihan well, ni Juan de la Cruz. After the gathering kasi, it undergoes evaluation. Yun ang pinaka-importante. When mm-hmm. you evaluate, you have to confirm sa ibang source siguro. Mm-hmm. Meron kang ibang uh, informant, pwede mo i-validate dito. Pag ni-validate niya, then confirm niya. Most probably, yung uh, yung information mo na yun will be considered A1 talaga kung mm-hmm. talagang validated. Kapag mm-hmm. A1 yung information mo, then you have to do an active process police operation. Okay. Do you have a repository of summary of information and do you share it with some other uh, doon sa inyong mga distrito? To yes. Make sh- yes, definitely. Kapag yan nag-undergo ng uh, evaluation, mm-hmm. we disseminate it. Mm-hmm. We disseminate natin sa ibang mga mga operatives or sa mga mm-hmm. ibang uh, intelligence operatives or mm-hmm. other agencies. No, mm-hmm. We have what we call yung tinatawag na intelligence fusion. Mm-hmm. Merong mga members dyan, yung ating counterparts from mm-hmm. the Armed Forces of the mm-hmm. Philippines and all other agencies ng mm-hmm. uh, gobyerno. Nangyayari ngayon sa panahon ni President yes. Digong. Unlike before, mayroong sinasabing information, parang may intelligence uh, compartmentalization, mm-hmm. pero nauuwi doon sa sinasabing intramurals. Yes. Kanya-kanyang taguan. Dahil lang kung ako yes. nakakuha nito, ba't ko bibigay siya, magtrabaho ka? Nangyayari ba ngayon yan sa panahon ni uh, President Digong? Basically, uh, halos wala na. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, we share information now. It's very, really, really, very important. Especially now na meron tayong threat on terrorism. Mm-hmm. No? We really have to share information. Kaya nga ginawa yung tinatawag na Intelligence Fusion Center. Mm-hmm. So we meet there regularly at kung yung ano, we exchange information doon sa center na yun. Okay, sa intelligence community kasama rito, yes. which is sinabi nyo pati armed forces. Yes. So all the information gathered. Yes. Ma, okay, so uh, this is w- because of the situations na sinasabing terrorism then. Yes. All right. Ben Tulfo Unfiltered.